Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm teaching you how to download and install Ender Storage for Minecraft 1.16.4. We're going to be going over every single step of getting Ender Storage. We're also going to be going over the compatibility mod that you need to get in Ender Storage. But you might be wondering, what is Ender Storage? Well, this is a mod that links the Ender Storage chest together using matching color patterns. All the chests are the same colors, share an inventory. Ender bags, which are like kind of like backpacks you can carry with you, can also be color coded to access those chests as well, making it portable and all sorts of cool stuff. So basically, if you have like a you know red, there's three pieces of wool on the top of an Ender chest, right? So as you can see here, these three pieces of wool. If the first one's red, that's going to link to all the other Ender chests, or the first one is red. However, if the first one's red and the next one's blue, that's only going to link to the ones that's red and blue, right? That, that's kind of how that's going to work. I'm going to show you once we get in game as well. But it's a really cool Ender or storage solution, allowing you to feel different systems or always, you know, have wooden one chest and so on and so forth and be able to access that from a bunch of different areas, right? So really cool stuff. We're going to be going over it once we get in game, but first we need to get it downloaded. However, actually we have a bench smart sponsor first, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own incredible 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. We actually love and trust Apex so much that we have our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you were looking to start your very own Minecraft server, look no further than Apex Minecraft Hosting. Again, it's very, very simple to set your server up. They have over 130 mod packs ready for you to set up in just one click. And again, we love and trust them so much. We use them for our own server. So you can check out Apex again. That's the first link down below the breakdown. XYZ slash Apex to start your own server. But you're not here to start your own server. You are here to get Ender Storage. Let's go ahead and do that. To start off, we want to go to the second link down below. That's going to take you here. This is Ender Storage official download page. I actually realized that I searched code here. You'll see why that is here in a second. But nevertheless, once we're here, we want to go ahead and come over here to the right-hand side. Scroll down until we find the Minecraft 1.16 section on the uh, right-hand side here. And then under that, you have Ender Storage 1.16.4. Click on the purple download button to the right of that. And after a few seconds, the download is going to begin. As you can see, 3, 2, 1. Boom, your download will now begin. And in the bottom left, we will have Ender Storage appear. As you can see, it says Ender Storage 1.16.4 is after that, but you can't see it. You want to go ahead and keep there. It's 100% safe to keep it. You will need to save the file on Mozilla Firefox in the center of your screen, but again, it's 100% safe to save it. Now, why did I search code on that last one? That's because of this. You need the code chicken core for Ender Storage in 1.16.4. Specifically, you need the code chicken lib and not core. It's a core mod, the fact that it is required in order for Ender Storage to work. So when you're here, it actually says none if I'm at the top. Ignore that. But once you're here, go ahead and scroll down and then click on this yellow download code chicken core lib and, or code chicken lib button. I can't say this correctly. We're downloading the code chicken lib. You can get it from the description down below. It'll take you to this page. Scroll down, click on this yellow download button takes you over to here, and then finally, we can download the Coaching and Lit. Once you're here, you want to come over here to the right-hand side, scroll down until you see Minecraft 1.16. Under that, you have Coaching and Lib 1.16.4, as you can see there. Go ahead and click on the purple download button to the right of that, and after a few seconds, it will also download right like so. Pretty easy stuff. Downloads in the bottom left on Google Chrome. As long as it says Code Chicken in the title, you are good to go ahead and keep it. Again, same thing on Mozilla Firefox. You need to save it in the center of your screen. 100% safe to do that. Now, we aren't done downloading just yet. There's still one more thing we need to download, and that is Forge. None of these mods work without Forge, so let's go ahead and get it. You want to go to the third link down below, and that's going to take you here. This is our in-depth guide for getting Forge. We're going to be going over the basics in this video, but if you do have any issues, come here. Go through this tutorial because it is going to uh, it's going to help you out much more than this one will, where we're just going over the basics. Once you're here, go ahead and click on the green Download Forge button. When you do that, you want to make sure that Minecraft 1.16.4 Forge is selected to do that. It should say MC 1.16.4 here. If it doesn't say that, come over here to the left-hand side, click on 1.16, and then click on 1.16.4. Once it says MC 1.16.4 here, come under a Download Recommended and click on the Installer button, right like that. That's then going to take us off to add focus. We're stop. Don't click anything on this page. Do not click a single thing on this page whatsoever. Do not click anything on this page. The only thing you want to do is wait seven seconds, and in the top right, click the red Skip button. That's it. That's the only thing you want to click is the red skip button in the top right. When you click on that in the bottom left, Forge will go ahead and download. As you can see, it says Forge 1.16.4. We're 100% safe to go ahead and keep that file in the bottom left. We will need to also save Forge in the center of our screen on Mozilla Firefox. Now we go ahead and minimize our browser. In our desktop, we have Ender Storage. We have Code Chicken Core, and we have Forge right like so. That is looking good. If these are on your desktop, they're going to be found in your downloads folder. To find that, click the little Windows icons in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen. Go in that little Windows icon in the top or bottom left of your screen. Go ahead and type in downloads. You have this downloads file folder in Windows. Click on that and then go ahead and drag Ender Storage, Code Chicken Core, and Forge from your desktop or from your downloads folder to your desktop. Now these are on your desktop, we can go ahead and get them installed. We're going to be starting off with Forge. To do that, you want to go ahead and right click on Forge, click on Open With, 
click on Java and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java. Well, if you don't have Java, here's what you need to do. You need to go to the description down below and download Java from our link. This is how to get the correct version of Java for Minecraft mods. It's a simple and easy three-step tutorial that's helped over one million people get the correct version of Java for Minecraft. So go to this quick tutorial there. And then once you've done that, you should be able to open up Forge. But if you can't, or if your jar files just don't look right, they don't look like my jar files and you want them to, you can go ahead and do this. This is the jar fix. You can find that in the description down below. Basically, what this is going to do is take all the jar files in your computer and link them back up to Java, right like so, once again. So go ahead, go to the description, download the jar fix, and run that real fast if you need to. But now, finally, we can minimize our browser. Right-click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. That's then going to open up the mod system installer for Forge here, where all you need to do is go on Install Client and click OK. That's going to go through, download some things, do some stuff, set up some stuff, make some things work in Minecraft, and uh, basically link Minecraft and Forge together, right like so. And then boom, it'll eventually come up and say, successfully install Client Profile Forge for version 1.16.4. Awesome. We can then go ahead and click OK there, and it will close out of that. Now it's time to get these installed. To do that, you want to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher, right like so. Once you're in the Minecraft launcher, what we want to do is make sure we have the Forge profile selected. As you can see, for us, it's automatically selected there. It says Forge, and then under that, it says 1.16.4-Forge. If you have that, go ahead and click on it and click play. But if you don't have that, right, at all, like it's not there, or you do have it and it doesn't say 1.16.4-Forge under it, here's what you do. You want to go up to the Installations tab, and then first, you want to go ahead and make sure the Modded button over here is clicked. So go ahead and make sure that's clicked. For some of you, that will go ahead and make Forge appear. If it doesn't, we need to create a new profile by clicking on the Plus New button. Then we want to go ahead and name this play.breakdowncraft.com, right like so. You don't have to name it that, but I'm naming it that. Why? Because that is our own incredible Minecraft server. We have 1.16.4 Grief Protected Survival. It's truly amazing. Medieval Survival has 30 custom quests and a player-based economy, and Aquatic Survival has an amazing slash shot based economy and truly incredible community. We've also got a huge skyblock redesign coming very, very soon with the right quest and so much more. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. Survival, Skyblock, you will absolutely love it. Over 150 players online every single day. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and click on this version drop down box here. And then in here, you want to find release 1.16.4 Forge. Here it is for me, right towards the top. You may have to scroll down a little ways to find it, but for me, right up here, it is at the top. Go ahead and click on that. And then I'm going to change my resolution. You don't have to do that, but uh, we are uh, we're making a video, which you ought to be able to see in game, so we need a good resolution for that, but you don't have to do that. Now we go ahead and click on the green create button in the bottom right. And right like so, we have this new play.breakdowncraft.com profile. Most importantly, it has 1.16.4. Dash Forge under it. Now we go ahead and click on the green play button that appears over here when we hover over it. It's going to open up this whole thing about modified Minecraft and all that. Do not worry about it. Just click I understand the risk. Don't warn me again about this installation. We're good. This is safe. I promise. Go ahead and click on the green play button at that point. Now Minecraft's going to go ahead and open up and we can go ahead and get our mods installed. This point, At this point the hard part is over. It's very very easy to install mods from here. Like super easy. Like, you don't have anything to worry about. Super super easy to get things installed. So as you can see, we are opening up Minecraft right like so, and going through, waiting for it, getting things set up, getting Forge launched into Minecraft, getting Minecraft opened up. That's kind of what all is happening right now. We're just kind of waiting for this to get set up, and then once we're in game, it's just like a few clicks and we're done. <laughs> but nevertheless, here we are in the Minecraft main menu. We want to go ahead and click on this Mods button. So from the Minecraft main menu, click on the Mods button here on the main menu. Then in the bottom left, you have this Open Mods folder button. So go ahead and click on that. Then take Ender Storage and Code Chicken Core from your desktop, right like here, right, from your desktop, and drag and drop these into your mods folder. And here you should then have Code Chicken Lib and Ender Storage, right like that. Now we want to go ahead and click Done here, and then if uh, you go back to your mods tab, it's not going to be there. It's actually never going to be there until you quit the game, and then you want to go into the Minecraft Launcher, type that in again, open up Minecraft Launcher, and then click on the profile that you have for Forge. So click on this little arrow, in my case it's playedupbreakdowncraft.com, but you may be the Forge profile, but select that, then click the green play button. This time you shouldn't have to confirm that you want to open it or anything, it should just go ahead and open. And now our mods will be installed. You can actually see them right here. Code Chicken Lib and Ender Storage are now installed. Right like so. That's good. They're there. They're recognized. Doesn't necessarily mean they're going to work. They're going to work because you went through this tutorial, but doesn't necessarily mean they're going to work. They can still have issues opening, but you know, in this case, they are going to work. So now we're just kind of sitting back and waiting for the Minecraft main menu. So I'm going to go ahead and do a quick jump cut until we get there. Here we are on the Minecraft main menu. Then we can go ahead and click on Mods and see Code Chicken Lib and Ender Storage. Awesome stuff there. We can then go ahead and launch in game. I'm going to go ahead and create a new Ender Storage world. See Ender Storage. And then we'll go ahead and make this creative just because that's easier. I'll load this world up, do another quick jump cut, and then we'll test out Ender Storage in game. All right, so here we are in game. I've already got kind of a set up here. We've got all the dyes that we need to color the Ender chest. And then we also have the Ender pouch here. We have the Ender tank. I'm going to go ahead and place this down real quick. 
you won't need to use this in vanilla Minecraft, really. I don't think you necessarily can. But this works great with uh, modded fluids and things like that. Transporting fluids from one area to another, it's great for that. But it does use the same system that we're about to go over with the, uh, you know, little piece of wool on top. Again, we won't be using that in this video, but it's still there. Now we go ahead and place this down. You can see this has got the Ender chest here. It's because it's from Ender storage. We're going to go ahead and place down, I don't know, six of these probably. We need quite a few. So one, two, three, four... And then I guess I'll turn around and do five and six. By the way, very interesting biome we're in. For those of you that want, might want the seed, there is the seed, right, like so. So pretty cool stuff. Like, look good. Look at that. Look at that seed. Look at that. Boom. Awesome. But yeah, there's that. So we've got this whole setup now. And we've also got the Ender Pouch here. The Ender Pouch can be, is, is like a lot more difficult. Whoa. As you can see, when you open up this, it opens up all the ones that are dyed white, which is all of them. So yeah, there's that. This has to actually be changed in the crafting, I believe. Um, uh, I'm not positive on this, but I'm pretty sure it has to be changed in the crafting. But let's go ahead and change these. So if we go ahead and put red on that first one. If we come over here and opened up this, right? Right, like so. It's only going to open up those. And most importantly, if we put the red dye in here, it's not going to be in any of these chests. However, if we go ahead and real fast dye this red, was that the, yeah, that was the first one. So if we go ahead and dye this red. Now, if I put red, blue, and purple dye in here, and then come over here, the red, blue, and purple dye are there, but they're not in this one. See how that works? It's only going to be in the chest that corresponds. So it's really, really cool. And go ahead and do like blue and blue, blue and blue, and then on this one, we'll do yellow in the center, right, like so. So now if we go ahead and open up this one, right? It's only going to open up that chest over there. So we put something in here. It's not going to be in this chest or in these chests. However, if we put the black dye in this chest, it's going to be in this chest as well, but not in that chest. Does that make sense? Basically, the color coding chest, the chest with the same color of wool on top, linked together. Those that don't have the same color do not link together. This is great, again, for transporting items. Let's say you had a base up here or something up here, and you had something down there in the mess of bio, or in that biome down there. You could easily put something in a chest up here, and then go down there, and it would be there very easily automatically via transportation again you can also do this with the ender pouch but i do believe that has to be done like during the crafting but it also works with the ender pouch and uh you can change the you know as you can see that's white 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 that's just signifying that it is a white 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 sort of setup and the link to those chests you can change that though and uh be good to go so there you all have it if you have any questions about ender storage let us know in the comment section down below also feel free to ask questions on the mod page that is linked in the description down below but nevertheless my name is nick this has been the breakdown enjoy ender storage Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Come play with us on play.breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. And I'm out. Peace.